Hey there, so this tutorial is part of a 9 video series where I'll show you how to produce an Afrobeat song starting from how to make the beats, how to set up a session for recording, recording lead vocals, backup vocals, mixing and even mastering the entire song for this project. So don't forget to check the description for links to other parts of this series to watch the rest of it. Hey there, welcome to part 8 of this series where I'll show you how to mix your backup vocals in Afrobeat. I assume you're already done mixing your lead vocals. And the next challenge is mixing your backup vocals to make it sound good and make it sound complementary to your lead vocals. Let's get started. So we're going to move on to the backup vocals. So I'm going to turn this one on. I can even be fine, even you know, I'm just to be my no man. Mm -mm. Call my phone anytime, but uh, I know you want me for your side. I would like to be. So I'm going to tune it to be a bit more aggressive than the lead vocals, okay? I can even be fine, even no just to be my no man. Mm -mm. And also when we EQ, we're going to cut out a lot more body so that it sounds relatively thin compared to the lead vocals, okay? So that'll be space for the lead vocal to shine and it sounds more like a supporting vocal. Can even be fine, even no just to be my no man. My phone anytime, but uh, I know you want me for your side. I good like then we're going to use some compression as well. I can even be fine, even no I'm just to be my no man. Mm -mm. Call my phone anytime, but uh, I know you want me for your side. I good like to be that guy. Where they hold you tight, I know you lonely for the night. Yeah, like I got no place to watch. You could be my baby, more, 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 more. So I'm going to add some reverb to it to make it come alive. All right. So we can use still using the reverb calculator. Let's use um try the whole reverb first of all. Seventy eight milliseconds to five thousand millis um to four point nine milliseconds. All right. Then we're also going to 4.9 see how it sounds i can even be fine even no i just to be my no man mm -mm. call my phone anytime but uh, i know you want me for your side i would like to be that guy where they hold you tight i know you lonely for the night they like got no place to watch so i feel like it's a bit too thin so i'm going to back it up a little So now we're going to move on to this to backup vocals right here. These they seem like harmonies. I'm going to turn this on. So I can just simply copy the processing I have right here. Then just come to file, hold this up. And then dump it right here. But make sure I rename it so that I know that that's it. Three. Then I can make some tweaks. More, more, more of you I want. More of you I need. More of you my body might answer. But what I'm going to do, right, I'm going to turn off the reverb, okay? Because I want these two vocals, since they are harmonies, to share the same reverb and some dynamics, okay? So I'm also going to turn this on. Come to file, track writing, um, file, I mean. Then dump this right here. But this will be in the opposite direction with the reverb turned off. So now I'm going to name this um, harmonies. 
maybe I'll color it something really, really bright. All right, so I'm going to take this out, link this here, take this out as well, link this here. So now I want them to share a compressor, but I'm going to use the Slate Digital um, Virtual Mix Rack for that. The vo airy vocals, all right? Let's use one this time. So let's de S it, all right? I can hear a lot of S's going on. So now they can share the same reverb. So I'm going to just simply use the preset earlier, which was um, 78 milliseconds to 4.9 seconds. So this is 4.9, and then this is 78. So I'm going to bring up the piano a little bit more. I feel like we need some more melodies to be hearable. My body, my So what we have left now is this vocal. So we're going to turn this vocal on and then we're going to listen. So with this, we're going to do some effect processing that's going to make it stand out and make it seem more interesting. First of all, of course, we're going to tune it. Then we're going to add some compression. All right, let's add put the compressor. Same. So for this portion right here, okay, we're going to actually use, um, make it move within the left and the right here. But for that, we're going to EQ it so that it takes out a lot of the low end. So I'm going to be using a panomatic to move it between the left and the right ear, but not too wide, just moderately. So we'll reduce the speed some more and then reduce the amount. So now we're going to add some phaser. All right, let's use phaser. And then let's see how it sounds. So we're going to add a little bit of reverb, all right? So I'm going to expand this, all right? Then...
that sounds fine so next we're going to come to this part of vocal So this is a special um, part, all right? So we'll try not to mess it up. So we're going to preserve as much detail of that whisper as we can while making it sound clean. So we're going to start with taking out some mouth to click, all right? And then we'll listen to make sure that it doesn't lose any detail. I'm going to denoise it as well. And then, of course, we're going to add some EQ. And then some compression to make sure it's well balanced. Now we're going to add some reverb. All right, so let's get to our reverb plugin. In our reverb calculator right here, we're going to be using um let's say the large room 39 milliseconds for pre-delay and then 2 point about 2.5 seconds for the decay time so 39 that's 39 milliseconds and then 2.5 for the decay all right so we're going to increase the um diffusion exercise increase the speed as well then we'll listen. And then I'm going to move on to the flute section. Now, or rather, the whistle section. Could actually whistle this some this part. So we're going to use auto tune, right? A little bit of it to get it to sound key correct. So we're going to leave that at, let's take it, let's try instruments. Then we'll also try soprano to see which is better. Then we're going to come to uh, minor because this is actually A minor, right? Then also take out background noise, all right? And then we're also going to add some compression. So let's compress this. And then now we're going to add some EQ, use some EQ to sculpt it, all right? Then let's add a little bit of reverb. I'm going to pan it slightly, all right? I don't think we are done yet with this um with this vocal. I, I think I'd like it to move between the ears, all right? So let's add a little bit of um
for you to So now let's move on. Hey there, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit me with a thumbs up so other people that need videos like this can easily find it right here on YouTube. And also hit the subscribe button down below so that you can keep up to date with latest tutorials on production, beat making, um, recording vocals, mixing, mastering in FL Studio. All right.